Meghan Markle and Prince Harry recently moved to Frogmore Cottage in Windsor and, according to a royal correspondent, the reason behind the relocation is a no-brainer but it did not have anything to do with a rift between the Duchess of Sussex and Kate Middleton. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex had been planning to move to their new home, Frogmore Cottage, for some time. However, renovations on the country estate took longer than expected and the couple only moved in at the beginning of April ahead of the birth of their first child. Since it was announced that the Sussexes were leaving Kensington Palace at the end of 2018 and the split from Kate Middleton and Prince William became more apparent, rumors started spreading of a feud between Meghan and Kate. However, in 2019 Sunday night documentary Royal Baby, Royal correspondent Emily Nash claimed that the reason behind the relocation does not have anything to do with a royal feud and is instead in a brainer. She explained, the move to Frogmire will give them much more time to be the family unit away from prying eyes. As much as Kensington Palace is a wonderful place, they are part of a big community there. They know that on the other side was there is the whole of London. In Frogmire they have a lot more space to breathe and of course they are in the middle of Windsor Great Park so there is plenty of open countryside and freedom for a child. It's a no-brainer. Regarding the speculated rivalry between Meghan and Kate, Miles Nash said, I think the rivalry story has been widely overplayed. I think there may have been some differences of opinion in the past but Kate has talked about how exciting it is that there is going to be a new baby in the family and a cousin for her children. I am sure there are going to be lots of family moments in the future. With the Duchess of Sussex due to give birth in the coming weeks, Speculation is growing as to when the royal baby will arrive. Some are under the impression the Duchess will give birth around late April or early May, as she hinted during a visit to Birkenhead, Merseyside, in January. According to the Daily Star Sunday the Duchess could opt to deliver her baby in a birthing pool. The paper reported a friend of Prince Harry as saying, None of us was shocked when we found out she'd been talking about a water birth. Apparently she wants it to be as natural as possible, no drugs, no caserines and so on. It's the next logical step from all her yoga, mediation and so on. Obviously when she goes into labor she might end up, medically speaking, having to go the more conventional route. But for now a water birth is absolutely her plan, is what they were saying. As Meghan and Harry announced that they are to keep the arrangements for the birth of their first child private. It has been claimed Twitter is the one place royal fans should look out for the baby announcement. Kate and William's household tweeted about Prince Louis within hours of his birth, providing information on the new royal baby royals fans were eagerly waiting for. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.